I'm Brian Hayes, and today we're going to talk about exporting list views from Salesforce. So the question is, can you export a list view from Salesforce? Yes, but not the way that you would typically think. So there's no button like in a report that lets you create an Excel file or a CSV file from a list view, but you've got a couple options which we can walk through here. They're all essentially workarounds, but let's talk through them. So the first option is to not export a list view at all and instead create a report based on the filters that you have in the list view. So if you click on the right hand side, this little funnel, you can see what filters are applied to this particular object and then you can recreate it in a report and export to your heart's desire. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, we then have two options. You can copy and paste from Lightning or copy and paste from Classic. Now copying and pasting from Lightning is kind of uh, tricky. It's a little temperamental. You might have to do it a couple times to get it right. And even then you're still probably going to have to modify the spreadsheet a little bit once you've done that copy and paste. So let me show you what I mean. So here's our list view, our customer list here with the different columns that we like. I can just hold down and drag up to copy these different columns. Hit copy on your computer and then paste into a spreadsheet. So there we go. That's not too bad, but you can see it's still a little bit weird. Um, right here, we've got an error that's shown up for some reason. Uh, and then at the top, the column headers are actually not aligned with the columns themselves. So here it says action. That should really be above H that says action. Here it says sort owner last name. That should really be above G. So what you can do is copy this row and then paste it over where it should be. And I'll just delete these extra columns here. And that's a little bit better you can still see that we've got some extra stuff in the column headers. So the other option is then to go through these column headers and, and clean it up a little bit. So this should be account, this should be phone, this should be billing city, so on and so forth. The nice thing about copying directly from Lightning into a spreadsheet like this is that the account name actually holds on to its URL. So you can click on that link and it'll take you right back to that account record in Salesforce. And the last thing we're gonna take a look at is copying this from Classic. So one of the nice things about Classic is that you can actually see a print view for a list view, and that'll make it much easier to copy and paste it into a spreadsheet like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Let's pull up our list view here. You can see in the upper right-hand corner, little icon of a printer. Click on that, and then from here, we can copy and paste that table. And I'm just gonna open this in a new sheet here. If you paste it in, you can see that actually worked properly the first time. We're still getting a, an error here where it's having trouble parsing whatever that phone number is, but everything else is working just fine and the column headers come through in alignment with the rest of the column. So to summarize, if you're trying to print a list view from Salesforce, you've got three options. The first one is to create a report instead and use the standard exporting features from reports. The second option is to copy from Lightning, but you're gonna have to do a little bit of work in the spreadsheet to clean it up. And the third is to switch into classic, hit that print view and copy and paste from there. Hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna continue learning Salesforce, take a look at some of our courses at academy.rotive.io and hit like and subscribe if you'd like more videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.